Much of the human skull is known as the dermatocranium, composed of dermal bone. Now, while dermal bone uh, dates back to jawless fish early in the Paleozoic, these jawless fish and the later jawed placoderms had large bony plates, and it's not quite certain if any of these are homologous to the bones uh, in the dermatocrania of modern vertebrates. The acanthodians possessed smaller bony elements, but once again, homology is not certain. However, in the late Silurian period, there were the first osteichthyan fish, the first bony fish of the group alive today. For the first time, it is possible to say in this fossil fish, there is a homologue of the skull bones which the modern uh, osteichthyans possess. Bowfin are a very primitive lineage of osteichthyans, and so therefore their skulls are interesting uh, to compare homology with the uh, skulls of more advanced osteichthyans, including humans. In the bowfin skull, one can see prominent parietal bones, just as in human skulls. There are nasal bones and lacrimal bones. The jugal bone is the name uh, we use for uh, the bone called the zygomatic in humans. There are teeth located in the maxillary and the premaxillary bones, just as in most osteichthyans. Humans possess incisors in their premaxillary bones as embryos, but the premaxillary bones then fuse and become part of the maxillary bones. There are other bony elements, which in humans are not separate bones, but components of, say, the occipital bone or the sphenoid bone. And so the uh, bowfin skull is significant because as a primitive osteichthyan, it is a representative of the early osteichthyans, which evolved the first identifiable homologues to the bones of the dermatocranium in the more advanced osteichthyans alive today.